Hey guys, so your next project is all about color. Now I'm here in downtown Fresno and I'm going to go and try to find some shots to kind of share with you guys what exactly I'm talking about. Now some things to keep in mind for this project is that you're going to want some really nice bright light to usually get some really vibrant colors happening. Uh, some other things will be your point of view. Point of view is always important in your photography. So look for different points of view to really get color against color. And another important thing is going to be uh, filling the frame. So we're talking about composition and we want to fill the frame, get really close to those colorful subjects and completely fill it up so that there's not any distracting stuff happening in the background to take away from the color. All right, so let's see how I do. Okay, so I'm in this parking lot and there's these bright orange things and I'm like, well, that's pretty cool. But thinking about color and complementary colors, I'm like, well, orange's complement is blue. So I'm gonna look around for some blue, which we have a blue sky. And there's also this building back here with these blue tinted windows. So let's see if I can get a photo out of this. So because uh, the building is in shadow, while all this orange is in light, the blue wasn't really showing up very well, so I just stayed with the blue of the sky instead. I'm here in Fulton Mall and there's all kinds of great color happening, but it's really about finding that color and making it the subject of your photo. Here in the Fulton Mall, there's this great public art installation uh, with all of these cool frames that you could take selfies with and all that. And so you could say, oh yeah, that's great. Just take a photo right there. Well, this is all about color. So what I'm gonna try to do is get that red and green, uh, the, the, the green tree right behind the red to really emphasize the color of it. All right guys, so now that you have an idea of what I'm looking for for this assignment, go out and find that great color. Remember, fill the frame, uh, use our nice sunny days to get that really bright color coming out of your subjects, and look for different points of view.